Welcome to JD in the Sump Sea. Um, in this video, we're going to be working on the extra details and gluing up stuff um, on the separate walls. Um, this is the last upper wall on the uh, crane side. Um, once again, using a lot of hot glue on this one just to get things set. Um, I already did a little bit of work on this one, but yeah, this is what the tiles look like when they're down all by themselves. Um, kind of a bonus on this whole, this whole project. Um, boy, there's a lot of ums, isn't there? Should probably script this out first. But here we are, we're putting a handle on one of the doors. Um, Gameplay with this does work with that top edge being the board edge. Um, whenever we're going to be doing uh, one that includes this, these uh, these wall pieces, uh, the corner included. And oh yeah, here's some granny cloth. Um, yeah, the hot glue is the best way to put this down. Um, and this is a bunch of scrambling to make sure I have enough parts. Um, and it just basically works, you know, as I, as I see it, we build and we see something else that'll work and we build some more and something else. Uh, yeah, a whole lot of fun. Well, I'll stop talking here a second and we'll go on. And here we go. A um, little bit more of what I was saying before about how the details glue this stuff up tighter to the wall. Um, you know, I am putting uh, reinforcements again, um, and then just double checking stuff. Um, on these guys, I think I'm gonna let the glue dry for a few more days, more than I did on the other ones. Um, not that I've had a lot of breakage on the other ones, but I have had some, um, which of course, you know, a lot of that has to do with transporting it, backing up, and or packing it up and pulling it back out of the boxes every time that happens. Okay, so here's a slow mo shot of the tile as as uh, this side corner. Um, yeah, I'm not putting any more details on this. Um, we're gonna be uh, texturing for sure, and I gotta put the sump in. Um, but this is just about enough room, you know, so you can actually get models in there and move them around. Yeah, granted, we're a little light on some of the movement rules and things like that just to make things work. But, you know, that's okay. I'm pretty sure every Nick and Monday game's kind of like that. But yeah, this side I kind of wanted to, um, the other side is the one with the SCR shack on it. This side's going to be more of a shipping Thing. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to paint those doorways right, but uh, we'll figure it out. I also got the light uh, clips in to hold the lights inside the wall, but yeah, this one comes way out. It's going to be quite an interesting thing to figure out storage for all of this. <laughs> but yeah, this is supposed to be kind of a shipping area here. Kind of turned out okay. And I managed to get a pipe on top of that, uh, top of that, uh, oh, the transfer tank there. So, yeah, there we go. And there we go. One corner done. 
All right, so now we're working on the side with the shack on it. Um, yeah, this, uh, this piece right here is coming along. I'm pretty happy with the way this worked. Those pipes on the bottom there uh, towards the middle really worked out well and I managed to get a drill one of the hand drills from the uh, the tractor kit underneath for reinforcement down there that worked out really well yeah and as we're going over here you know in my mind as I was going I was kind of well one I didn't realize I was filming right here um, so we get a little bit of some re extra reinforcement and then right about here I think and I'm pulling off glue what else do we need to do oh yeah that needs reinforcement so we'll have yeah, one more thing. It's a detail and it takes up some space, but if it holds the whole thing together, then kind of the way I make my decisions when I'm doing this. And yeah, here we go. Right about here, I start getting a new idea. This is one of my wild hairs, because of course, you know, you can't have just one flange. And I've been saving the up top stuff for, yeah, oh, look at that. We were going to go down and yep, we're going to grab some more stuff here. I got quite a good idea going, to be honest. Um, boy. I really hope this voiceover works because then, yeah, I got a real big wild hair up my butt on this one. Yeah. This is going to be really cool. I managed to have to butcher one of the pipes up to make this work, but that's okay. <laughs> and yeah, you hold things there and... And you grab some more parts from some other junk heap. Oh, my basement is a catastrophe zone right now. Yeah. Well, you know, I probably should be talking in this spot where you guys can't see anything, but I still don't script any of this stuff out. We're just gonna be shooting as we go here. And there's my arm. And yeah, you just keep fitting and keep messing around until you get it right. And right about here, I think I figured out which way I wanted to go with this, which turned out pretty cool. And I get there. I'm still restricted with where I can put my camera. Granted, my phone, you know, my phone is still my camera. Uh, now we're gonna measure some stuff out here. And I was essentially gonna go directly into the wall behind. But I think I got a better idea coming up here. sure why I was banging my finger there but yeah anyways um a little saw work a little bit off camera there yeah I'm sorry about this guys when I do get a proper camera and a couple well I already have the tripods for all the cameras um it's this is just me waiting to find the right deal basically yeah And yeah, I mean, this is kind of the process. I know this is a little bit, I haven't sped this part up quite as fast as I have in the other videos, but 
I'm also trying to work on this voiceover stuff. Um, you know, but this is the process, really. You know, you sit here and you you try to figure it out. Best part, to be honest. Um, yeah, you see a lot of my forearms, but. And I could have cut all this out, but like I said, I'm still working on Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a win. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There's the winner. I knew I had a good idea coming into this. But uh, the winner here is, is that little maneuver there. So we're going to do a little shaping up of stuff. And then figure out how I'm going to glue it up there and stay straight. Which is probably one of the hardest things to do on these kinds of things. Because you get a good idea and then, you know, you put it up there crooked, basically. <laughs> like I said earlier, um, on Necromunda terrain, it's okay to be crooked. That's not a big deal. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy that worked out. And we just get enough glue to go on everything. And you know, I, I uh, as long as you can remember to, to, you know, go over with stronger glue over this hot glue, then, uh, you know, it's okay. Now, granted, I'm gonna forget some spots. There's no doubt about it. Oh, look at that. We got another piece here that is gonna go in and it's gonna cap this whole area off. This is good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work out. And yeah, you, you know, you work and you just keep poking and picking and it's really funny because when you look at the pile of garbage that I have down here, you'd be like, how in the heck? But this is, this whole process right here is why it's done. <laughs> yeah, a little overhang there. A little quick cut, quick cut this off for all of you that, uh, yeah, let's see if we do that. That's no good. But for all of you that don't know how to cut pipes evenly, you put one clip on one side, one clip on the other side, then she goes right through. Glue up nice. Yeah. Good stuff. I was extremely happy with that. This looks really nice. Yeah. Oh, and here's this piece. Yeah, that turned out really nice. Even looks like somebody's supposed to be doing something up there. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we got the tower area. And yeah, sometimes you don't use lower stuff. Like I got that fan underneath there on this one. Um, so we're gonna go out a little bit and uh, reinforce with that uh, crate there. Little granny, granny screen there. That'll work. Yeah, the uh, the the two pieces above the SCR shack. I'm trying to. We're gonna put some details on, but not necessarily the most amount because there's there's the shack. <laughs> but that upper uh, white pillbox, which by the way, is a failed 3D print for a, I believe it's a uh, driver for the inside of a computer that a buddy of mine failed on. And I saw it and I said, that's perfect. But uh, up there is going to be the secondary uh, uh, radar dish. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to be putting that up there. Doesn't work all the way up top there, so 
And this is a different radar dish, even though it looks kind of the same. Yeah, yeah, I broke it halfway up there, so we'll get the glue back up. See, that's another one that makes things hard. It gets really exciting when things start working well. So, okay, so here's this one. We got a few buses on the end there. Computer set. There's the power cabling for the uh, for the crane there. All right, so here we are. This is all of it done. Um, I am extremely pleased with the way this looks. There's a radar dish and a door out. Yeah, we're gonna go up, run the crane, all kinds of good stuff. There's the shack. Yeah. Yeah, the next ones are gonna be decorating the inside of the shack. Um, there's a chance I may not make a video on that. This one took quite a while. And here's the other corner. And I've been moving little dudes around on this, so it's fully playable. And there we go, guys.